Learning Window A word that is used to name a person, place, animal or thing is called a naming word. Let us see some of the examples. Persons Aunt Sister Niece Postman Doctor Places School House Park Bathroom Forest Animals and birds Squirrel Sparrow Dog Cat Giraffe Things Shampoo Flower Table Mango Camera Vase Learning Window All the words in column A are special names. All the words in column B are common names. Example Japan is the special name of a country. Special names always begin with a capital letter. Names that are given to a person, a place, an animal, a bird, or a thing in general are called common names. Names that are given to a person, a place, an animal, a bird, or a thing in particular are called special names. Learning Window Read these rules that tell us how one can be changed into more than one. A. By adding S to naming words, we can change one into more than one. Examples Boy, boys. Car, cars. Tree, trees. B. When naming words end in X, S, CH, and SH, we add ES. Examples Box, boxes. Bus, buses. Branch, branches. Dish, dishes. When naming words end in Y, we change Y to IES. Examples Country, countries. Party, parties. Fly, flies. D. When naming words end in F or FE, we change F or FE into VES. Example Leaf, leaves. Knife, knives. Wife, wives. Learning window. In the first sentence, the apostrophe, along with S next to the naming word, Adil, shows possession. It shows that the pencil box belongs to Adil. In the second sentence, the apostrophe, along with S next to the naming word parrot, shows that the wings belong to the parrot. In the third sentence, the apostrophe, along with S next to the naming word Suhani, shows that the bag belongs to Suhani. When we want to show that something is owned by someone or belongs to someone, we use apostrophe and S. Apostrophes are usually not used with non-living things. We do not say the table's legs or the cup's handle. Instead, we say the legs of the table and the handle of the cup. Learning Window In both the sets of sentences above, the naming words Shalini, Sam, I and Suraj have been replaced by the words she and we. Sometimes a different word is used in place of a naming word. Read these sentences. 1. Asha takes the bus to reach college. She reaches there on time. 2. Mukesh wants to eat an ice cream. He likes it very much. Here the words she and he have been used in place of Asha and Mukesh. Now read this sentence. Nikhil, Mona and Rhea are cousins. They live in a joint family. Here the word they has been used in place of Nikhil, Mona and Rhea.
I, we, you, they, he, she, it are words that can be used in place of naming words. They are called pronouns. Learning window. In these three sets of sentences given above, the naming words have been replaced by the words he, them, it, him and her. Me, us, you, him, her, it, them are words which can be used in place of naming words. These words are also called pronouns. Examples Priya has hurt her back. Can you please help her? I have a chocolate. I would like to share it with you. He is standing there. Go and talk to him. Learning window Uses of A and N What do you notice in the sentences given on the previous page? All the naming words have a, an or the before them. A. The word a is used before a naming word that is one and begins with a consonant sound. Examples A boy, a girl, a book, a woman. B. The word an is used before a naming word that is one and begins with a vowel sound. Examples An apple an elephant, an ink pot, an orange, an uncle. Uses of the The is used a before a naming word that has been talked about before. Example I have a new bicycle. Papa bought the bicycle for my birthday. We have talked about a bicycle in the first sentence. Therefore, in the next sentence, we use the to refer to the same bicycle. B. Before a naming word that has been made known to the reader or listener. Examples The book on the table. The hat I wear. C. Before the names of rivers, seas and oceans. Example The Yamuna River. The Red Sea. The Indian Ocean. D. Before the names of famous buildings and monuments. Examples The Red Fort, the White House, the Eiffel Tower. E. Before the names of things that are unique. Examples The Sun, the Moon, the Earth, the Universe. F. Before the names of religious texts. Examples The Bible, the Ramayana. The Gita Learning Window Words that describe a naming word that is a person, a place, an animal or a thing are called describing words. Examples Beautiful Girls Quiet Church White Owl Tall Monument Placement of describing words in sentences A describing word can be placed A just before the naming word. Example, Rani has a brown cat. In this sentence, the describing word brown is placed just before the naming word cat that it describes. B. After the naming word. Example, the cat is brown. In this sentence, the describing word brown is placed after the naming word cat that it describes. Kinds of describing words. Describing words can be of many kinds. Let us learn about them. Color. Yellow pencil. Green bag. Brown eyes. Size. Long legs. Tiny drops. Small feet. Sound. Noisy children. Silent room. Melodious voice. Shape. Rectangular garden. Round face. Square table. Number. Three windows. Two eyes. Many insects. Taste. Salty chips. Bitter medicine. Sweet candy. Weather. Chilly wind.
sunny day bright morning texture or a special quality dry skin lukewarm water soft cloth learning window the above sentences compare two things or persons to show comparison between two things places persons or animals we use the er form of the describing word sometimes we use more we also use than examples shashi is younger than nishant nana is more beautiful than priya now study the table carefully make a note of how the spelling changes when we make a comparison thick thicker young younger heavy heavier tasty tastier soft softer light lighter learning window all the words in the box tell us what someone or something does these words are called doing words or action words they are also called verbs doing words tell us what a person an animal or a thing does examples mother tells us a story kittens sleep on the blue carpet the leaf floats on the water learning window use of am is are we use am and is when we talk about one person or thing as in sentences 1 and 2 we use am with i one person as in sentence 1 when we speak about more than one person or thing we use are in sentence 3 look at the table below to understand the correct use of am is and are i am in the park he is in the park she is in the park tarun is in the park trisha is in the park we are in the park you are in the park they are in the park the girls are in the park the boys are in the park learning window use of was were now read these sentences 1 nupur was in the garden 2 they were late for the show when we talk about something that took place in the past we use the words was and were now look at the table below to understand their usage i was in town yesterday he was in town yesterday she was in town yesterday suraj was in town yesterday dia was in town yesterday we were in town yesterday you were in town yesterday they were in town yesterday the girls were in town yesterday the boys were in town yesterday suraj and dia were in town yesterday learning window use of has have look at how has have and had have been used in the sentences above the verbs has and have show what vinay sagrika kapil vaibhavi and i own we use has when we talk about one person place animal or thing when we talk about more than one person place animal or thing we use have with i and you we always use have study the table below that shows the correct use of has and have i have brown eyes we have brown eyes you have brown eyes they have brown eyes rishi and reema have brown eyes he has brown eyes she has brown eyes rishi has brown eyes reema has brown eyes yusuf had now read these sentences 1 i had a birthday party last sunday 2 we had a class test yesterday had is used in place of has and have when we talk about something that has already happened we use had with i we you 
he, she, they, and with special names like Rupa, Veena, Bijoy. We may use yesterday, last week, last night, last weekend with had. Learning window. The activity on the previous page shows action words. Play, eat, walk, pray, make, write, brush, paint and bathe. These action words also tell us that the action is happening now in the present. Now look at this table. It tells us about the correct use of go, goes, do and does. I go to work at 8 o'clock. We go to work at 8 o'clock. You go to work at 8 o'clock. They go to work at 8 o'clock. I do the homework neatly. We do the homework neatly. You do the homework neatly. They do the homework neatly. I eat at the canteen. We eat at the canteen. You eat at the canteen. They eat at the canteen. He goes to work at 8 o'clock. She goes to work at 8 o'clock. Rajan goes to work at 8 o'clock. Rupa goes to work at 8 o'clock. He does the homework neatly. She does the homework neatly. Rajan does the homework neatly. Rupa does the homework neatly. He eats at the canteen. She eats at the canteen. Rajan eats at the canteen. Rupa eats at the canteen. What do you notice in the above sentences? Therefore, we see that when the subject is I, we, you or they, the action word is used without any change. When the subject is he, she, it or any special name, we use, we add an S or ES to the action word. Learning window. The verbs am going, is walking, are chirping show actions that are happening now. There are many ways of changing a verb or a doing word. One of the most common ways is to add ing to it. Examples. Writing, laughing, sleeping, walking. Sometimes one doing word is not enough to complete a sentence. Read this sentence. I drinking milk. This sentence sounds incomplete. We have to add am before drinking to make complete sense of this sentence. I am drinking milk. Hence, we see that we have to often use am, is and are along with ing form of doing words so that the sentences make complete sense. Now look at this table. It shows the correct use of is, am, are with ing form of a doing word. I am playing in the park. We are playing in the park. You are playing in the park. They are playing in the park. The boy is playing in the park. He is playing in the park. She is playing in the park. My unk is playing in the park. Spelling rules with ing words. A. Some words end in E. When we add ing, we drop the E. Dance, dancing. Share, sharing. Close, closing. Like, liking. Drive, driving. Care, caring. Love, loving. Taste, tasting. Bite, biting. Strike, striking. B. When ing is added to some doing words, then the last letter is doubled. Jog, jogging. Drop, dropping. Shop, shopping. Fit, fitting. Hop, hopping. Hit, hitting. Knit, knitting. Grin, grinning. Get, getting. Roll, rolling. Learning window. The doing words in column A tell us about the action that is happening now. The doing words in column B tell us about the actions that have already taken place. Doing words tell us about the actions that are happening now or that have happened in the past. 
study this table. We played tennis yesterday. Everybody laughed at the joke. I visited Goa the previous week. Mother baked a delicious chocolate cake. Emily picked up the kitten. All the verbs in the first column take on ed to show that the action has already taken place. Some other verbs change in this manner to show actions that have already taken place. Go, went. Run, ran. Come, came. Take, took. Wake, woke. Eat, ate. Leave, left. Send, sent. Say, said. No, knew. Swim, swam. Mean, meant. Become, became. Speak, spoke. Meet, met. Learning window. The words in, on, under, above, behind and beside tell us the position of an object, a person or a thing. Examples. The vase is on the table. The word on tells us where the vase is with reference to the table. The dog is under the table. The word under tells us where the dog is with reference to the table. Words like on, in, under, over, above, beside, behind tell us the position of the naming words. Such words are also called prepositions. Learning window In the dialogue given on the previous page, Dhruv is asking questions and Astha is answering them with statements. Questions are sentences that begin with words like what, who, where, how, when or which. They always end with a question mark. Examples Who is that girl? What would you like to eat? Where are the keys? How are you? Which is your bottle? When does the train come here? Why are you sitting here? Who is used for a person? What is used for a thing? Where is used for a place? How is used for manner or method? Which is used for choice? When is used for time? Why is used for reason? Statements are sentences which tell us something. They always end with a full stop. Examples The sun rises in the east. I go to school by bus. Nisha has curly hair. Learning window The words and, or, but, and because in the above sentences join two words or two sentences. These words are called joining words. They are also called conjunctions. Joining words are words that join two words or two sentences. A. The word and is a joining word. It is used to join together both words and sentences. Read these sentences. Aparna went to the market. She bought fresh vegetables. This can be written as Aparna went to the market and bought fresh vegetables. B. The word but is also a joining word. We can use but to join sentences that have opposite ideas. Read these sentences. Vinita is lazy. Her sister is hardworking. This is written as Vinita is lazy, but her sister is hardworking. C. The word or is used to join words or sentences to show choice. Read these sentences. Let us meet this evening. Let us meet tomorrow morning. This is written as Let us meet this evening or tomorrow morning. D. The word because is used to join sentences when we want to give a reason for something. Read these sentences. I went to the library. I wanted to return a book. This is written as, I went to the library because I wanted to return a book. Learning window In the above sentences, we notice that capital letters have not been used at proper places. We also notice that full stops and question marks have not been used at all. 
Let us put the necessary full stops, question marks, and capital letters at the proper places. Now, read the sentences again. 1. Where did Mohan go? 2. Mohan went to a hill station during the holidays. 3. On Monday, he went with his brother Sumit and his pet dog Bobo for a walk to a nearby pond. Capital Letters We use a capital letter to A. Write the first word of a sentence or a question. Examples I am going home. What is your name? B. Write the special names of people and pet animals and birds. Examples Mala, Dheeraj, Cooper. C. Write the special names of places like cities, towns, countries, roads, lakes, rivers, seas, oceans, monuments, schools. Examples Jaipur, India, Mall Road, Neni Lake, the Yamuna, the Indian Ocean. D. Write the names of the months of the year and the days of the week. Examples June, August, Tuesday, Sunday. E. Write the names of special holidays. Examples Holy, Christmas, Diwali, Eid. F. Write the names of specific languages and nationalities. Examples Chinese, French, Indian. G. Write the word I. Example Anamika and I are going to the beach. Full stop. A full stop is also called a period. It tells us that a sentence has come to an end and that we should stop. It is used at the end of the sentence. Example We heard the cuckoo sing. Question mark. A question mark is used at the end of a question. Example Where are your books? Exclamation mark. An exclamation mark is used when we express strong or sudden feelings as joy, excitement, wonder and sadness. Examples What a beautiful flower! How lovely the rain is! Learning window Short forms are often used in spoken and written English. Short forms are made by joining two words together. Example U plus R becomes your. We have removed the letter A from R and inserted an apostrophe in its place. Now read these sentences given in the table. Long form, short form. I am a good girl. I'm a good girl. He is a teacher. He's a teacher. We are in the class. We're in the class. You are a nice person. You're a nice person. See the chart below for short forms. Learning window. In the above examples, we see that when two words are joined, they form a new word. Such words are called compound words. Compound words are formed when two words are joined together.